Aaron, you know what to expect. I'm not professional at all times. Obey my instructions. I'm not your age. Any questions? Let's go to work. No time for questions. And Richie Woodall, this place is absolutely bouncing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable support for both boxers, actually. Flatley's brought a, a few with him as well. But the majority of the sport, obviously, for Nathan Heaney. And yeah, they're here in their thousands. The Heaney crowd in full voice, the Heaney ring walk, memorable as always. Let's hope there's a more satisfactory outcome tonight. Six months on from Nathan Heaney's technical points with on the Joyce Parker undercard. He's back in there with Jack Flatley and looking to get off to a fast start here, Heaney. He was in control when the fight was stopped. He'd won all five rounds on one judge's card and four and five on the other. Flatley said he was just starting to grow into the fight. Tonight we're going to find out. Good start from Heaney, but it was actually Flatley that, that's come across as the bell's gone on that front foot, trying to take the contest for Heaney. But he's walked onto too many. This is a good start from Heaney. Big shots going in. Huge shots going in from Heaney in the black trunks. Flatley having to win in this early storm. If it was noisy in here before it started, listen to it now. Nathan Heaney fired up, but he's gone to work early. Yeah, big right hand went in from Heaney again there also at the end of that exchange. So Flatley still recovering from that onslaught from Heaney. Fast start from the Stoke man. But it was Flatley who came across at him, taking the contest to him. But again, he's on the receiving end. Heaney launching big punches. Flatley can't get out of the way. Taking punch after punch from Heaney, who's the bigger man in there. This has been a really good start to this fight for Nathan Heaney. Yeah, he's still not recovered, Flatley. Still recovering from those shots. Just keeping the hands high, but the punches are getting through. Another right hand gets through. He's had a brilliant opening two minutes, Heaney. Catching him again with a long right. In the first minute or so, and he's walked onto everything that Heaney has thrown. It's been a tremendous round for Heaney up to now. Heaney's the bigger man in there. And there's the bell to end the first round. And that was a good start for Nathan Heaney. Super start from Heaney, wasn't it? But Flatley's just there, trying to keep the hands up, trying to block the shots, but they were getting through, getting round the guard of Flatley and hitting home. And at one point, Flatley was struggling to get through them. Right hand there, whipped around the left glove. Heaney lands a good body shot. There's a right up across also. So again, he's having the better of things here. And he's finding his opponent with the better quality shots. There's his danger shot, that right hand over the top. It's not a bad punch that he throws himself. But again, he's on the receiving end. Halfway through the third round, scheduled for 10. Vacant WBA Continental Middleweight title is on the line as well. It was a, you know what, Flitz, it was a cracking body shot that went in from Heaney there, but it was replied with a couple of stiff jabs from Flatley, so he responded well, took the body shot superb, superbly well, because it was a, a terrific right hand to the body from Heaney. Blood flowing from the nose of Nathan Heaney, final minute of the third. Heaney moving away from danger, Flatley at the moment's got the centre of the ring. Working behind that left jab, but he likes to double up on. Heaney looking to unload the gun shields from cascading out. And a solid shot went in there. What a punch that was from Heaney downstairs. But again, Flatley responds, tough kid. Heaney picks one into the body. Took a nice solid left on the way out though, Heaney from Flatley, but just had him back on the ropes momentarily. Neither of them want to take a backward step in there. Heaney big into the body. Flatley coming forward. Oh, that was a cracking shot there. Gun shield came yeah. flying out. Uh, left on that was for Meany. That, that, that was actually coming forward, and that's just a genuine punch that's just lost the gumption. He didn't mean to spit that out. And he's got a big cut over his right eye. Well, it's similar to the first contest, the heads are coming really close. Both there connecting with shots. In 
inside the final minute of the fifth round. Healy started to showboat. Just getting his timing right, isn't he here? Healy just picking him off with shots. But he's just got to vary his approach. Really right. good shot right hand from Healy. Solid shot. Flatly felt it with a smile on his face. He's digging deep in there. Heaney's round at the moment. Cracking atmosphere inside the Telford International Centre. This is where it happened. Well, he's coming there with a, with a double jab. Oh, it's a head clash. Flatly working for the Heaney body. That was the message from Alex Matvienko, wasn't he? He said, you're hurting into the body. Good combination from Heaney. Nice and sharp, nice and short. Rock the head back and flatly. Who then tells him to get back in. What you would say about the damage around the eye of flatly, it's going to be more concerning the swelling underneath the eye than the cut on the top, I think, at the moment, because that eye started to close. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice right on there. Hard fought contest this one. Good punch from Heaney, timed it well. Little left hand just sneak through from Heaney, follows up with a two punch combination as well. Flatley got him with a head on the way and then clipped him on the chin on the way out as well. And they're getting caught again, coming forward, but when he's on the inside, a couple of good little left ducks from Flatley are getting through. But Heaney's keeping him at bay, that's a good right hand there. He's in trouble. Kidology or showboating from Flatley. Good kidology there, but Nathan, he, he, he fell for that. Halfway through the night, Flatley looking to let the punches go. Healy trapped on the ropes, fighting off them. So I think they expected this type of a contest. Good Again, boxing from yeah. Healy. Better really boxing. good boxing, yeah. Started off with a jab, and then he got him with a hook on the way out. And it's the Heaney crowd that rise at the end of the night. Nathan Heaney wants the crowd involved. Richie's running up by four points, heading into the final round. Full credit, by the way, to Tom McNeil in the Flatley corner, the way he's dealt with that cup. Now then, three more minutes. Can Flatley find something special? Flatley responds there with a cracking right hand. And another one. Yeah, he's digging in here, Flatley. Right down the pipe, Heaney getting caught. The best moment of the fight, really, for Flatlet, who's trying to find this big finish that he might just need. Really trying to get up on his toes and trying to counter punch. Flatley coming in, looking for the shot that can turn the fight his way. Fifteen seconds to go. It's been an excellent fight. Big shot from Healy, bounced off the chin of Flatley, and another one, good combination, the gun shields out, Marcus McDonald says carry on, Flatley took them brilliantly, Healy landed big shots, there's the final bell, I don't think Flatley heard it, outstanding fight, a warm embrace at the end, both of them gave their all. Yeah, tremendous wasn't it, and, and Flatley had a good last round up until that last 10 or 15 seconds, and then Healy puts a great combination together, but that was a, a terrific contest. Every single round was action-packed. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Jan Christensen scores it 99 to 91. And both judges, Howard Foster, and Jesus Morata Garcia scored the same, 97 to 93. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBA Continental Middleweight Champion, Nathan Fahitman!